Hello everyone. I hope you're choosing joy today because you know I am. I choose joy. Guess what happened y'all? I canned some bone broth. Yes, they did all seal. But take a look at this. Ooh, wee! That is what you call no bueno. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. I made a lot of bone broth. I canned several jars of bone broth in my quart jars. And it got late in the evening and I was tired. Remember my video about don't can tired? I was tired. I knew that that would probably be a no-go. So I said, well, you know what? I'll just can it tomorrow. The next day came, I took the bone broth out of the refrigerator. I let it sit to get to room, room temperature and I did not heat it up again. Mmm, gotta heat that stuff back up, y'all. Because what I realized is if I had heated that bone broth back up, all of these impurities that are floating around right now, I wouldn't have that. I wouldn't have it because it would be settled down at the bottom of the pot. But guess what else I learned? Y'all, you ready for this? I am going to recan quartz and paints back together again. Yes, I found out that I can can both quartz and paints together in the same canner. How can you do that, T? Can up and not down. What does that mean? It takes 25 minutes to successfully process quart jars of broth. It only takes 20 minutes to successfully can paint jars. It is suggested if you are canning various sizes that you have at least, at least two quarts for four paints. So I will be able to load my tea fall with two quart jars and four paint jars. That will evenly distribute the pressure and the process will be perfectly fine. Let's go work some magic. We're gonna take these lids off. We're gonna put a pot on the stove. We're gonna get it nice and boiled and hot. We're gonna get our jars hot and we will process again. Come on, let's go. You know how I found out about being able to can all of these things, uh, various sizes, into the same pot. Let's go back. I was canning while tired. Learn that lesson. Don't do that again. Can some earlier. Was tired. So I put it away in the fridge. Had to actually go through this process right here to figure out, hey, you probably should have followed directions when it said, if you're gonna can something the next day, heat it up, bone broth. Learn that. My other lesson, very important lesson, is when I researched and found out I can put all of these in there together. And there, that's why I say, we should always learn from the least mistake, the tiniest mistake.
It's the next day, and let's see what we have. Paint jars. Quart jars, all can in the same pressure cooker. Tea fall, 22 quart. Yay! Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tell others about this channel. Why? Because we're spreading joy around here, y'all. Bye. Happy candy.